Heartland Sports with Todd Richards. Sponsored by Southeast Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. Hey again, everyone, as we get ready to close out another Monday, we finish off our Heartland Football Friday Top 12 Plays. Heartland Football Friday, Top 12 Plays of the Week. The Kelly Hawks work the passing game to perfection at play number six. Skyler still with the TD strike to Grant Burleson in a win over Donovan. Cape Central Zaire Thomas shows off his cat quick moves to help lead the Tigers to a huge opening game win over St. Charles at play number five. He is fun to watch. Jackson receiver Blaine Harris shows off some cat quick reflexes and concentration by snagging the deflected pass for six against Edwardsville at play number four. The Scott City passing game can hit you from just about anywhere, like Tyson Underwood with the catch near his goal line, and he just keeps on going and keeps on going for big yardage at play number three. A Cape Central running back strikes for the second time in this countdown, and this time it's Keyshawn Boyd taking off at play number two, and he doesn't stop until he rambles for 56 yards for a Tigers touchdown. But it takes a great escape to finish number one. Watch Carterville quarterback Brandon Skelter disappear behind the Benton defenders and somehow get away and throw a perfect touchdown pass to Nicholas Fishing for the top play in our Heartland Football Friday countdown. All right, can't wait to see more big plays Friday, about 10-15 on Heartland Football Friday. And here's some big football news. A change of NFL teams for former Red Hawk standout Johnny King, the six foot five inch wide receiver who was in training camp with the Colts until he was waived last Wednesday is signed with the Eagles. King caught 124 passes, over 1,600 yards, and 13 touchdowns in his career with the Red Hawks. Meanwhile, the season just five days away for King's former college team. Red Hawks travel to Manhattan, Kansas, Saturday for a battle with Kansas State. SEMO is ranked 11th in the FCS. The Wildcats ranked 16th in the FBS. K-State is a power five team out of the Big 12, and the Red Hawks are well aware of that challenge. It's the best FBS team that we've played. So I've been here 10 years, played one every year, and it, by far the best team. They're obviously a power five, but they're also a top 25 team. They're defending champs. They, they make big plays. You know, they're going to make you earn it. And they, they, they kind of pride themselves on doing that. What do you know about them? What do you think? Uh, they're, they're a good team, top 16 in the country. But we, like I said, we're not even worried about them. We got to know our opponent, obviously, but we're not worried about them. They'll kick off at 6 Saturday in Manhattan, Kansas. The Salukis kick off their season at home Saturday against Austin P. SIU's track record looks good against the Govs. They've won the last five meetings against Austin P and a series that dates back to 1938. All they're worried about this year is the opener this year. Man, I can't wait. Like I said, ever since last year, we walked out, out, the, out, of, out of Youngstown State, and I was like, man, when's the next game? When's the next game? You got to wait, you know, a whole year to play that next game. And so everyone, we're, we're all excited just for September 2nd. Week one, it's about just executing, you know, you, Everybody's going to tweak some things. So what you've seen on film the previous year, there's going to be things that are changed, and uh, we understand that. And uh, but so it's about just coming out and playing hard, playing our brand of football. SIU will host Austin P at six Saturday at Saluki Stadium. High school fall sports season kicking into gear. Uh, Jackson, let's go ahead and check out their opening home volleyball match against St. Genevieve. Fans are fired up, and Nadia Wazaleski will not disappoint. Watch. Uh, her getting the, the act a little bit right here with the serve. Jackson was scoring off some of those serves early and often and just doing whatever they had to do. Sydney uh, Floyd, they were also getting some blocks, gets up and knocks it back. We'll put that score up on the board for you. Jackson wins 3-0. Cape Central playing its first volleyball game of the season against Popper Bluff. And Piper Underwood will get into the act early for Cape. She'll get up there, watch on the other end, and slam this one home. Cape goes on and wins 3-0. They take that match in impressive fashion.